Alright guys, in this video, I'll be teaching guys how to make the subtitle that almost all Minecraft YouTubers use in After Effects. Subtitles are a super great and subtle way to make your videos look more entertaining and just simply awesome. Make sure to subscribe and like the video if you learned something from it and let's get right into it. Alrighty, so obviously go ahead and create a new composition once you open up After Effects. Click that button and then name it anything you would like. I'll just be naming it simply subtitle tutorial. Subtitle tutorial. And then go ahead and copy down my settings, but you don't really need to copy down every bit of it. You can change like the width and height, the frame rate, even the duration if you want to, but it's up to you. And after that, just go ahead and click OK. So firstly, all you want to do is hit Ctrl T on the keyboard to select the text tool and hit anywhere on this black screen. Type anything you like, but I'll be typing uh, welcome back to another tutorial so go ahead and just change the uh, color and stuff so it's easier to see if your text looks normal it's fine but if your text looks like this just go ahead and select this and then make it fill over stroke and then make your stroke to zero and then go ahead and lower the size of the text just like so and then you should make this paragraph into the center text so it's like centered and it's perfect and also go ahead and open up these three tabs if you don't have it already character align and paragraph if you don't know how to do that just go ahead and go to window and click these options align uh, paragraph and character so you should be able to find that in the windows tab after you do that go ahead and select your text tool again just triple click onto this text and then use your alignment tool and click align horizontally so your text is horizontally aligned now all you want to do is scroll towards the text by using your alt key and then scrolling up and then you can zoom into the text and then all you want to do is press y on your keyboard and move this little can you see this move this little anchor point to the center while pressing control on your keyboard and it should center it out just like so and then you can press v on your keyboard again and then click this button and click fit after that all you want to do is select your align horizontal again and then while dragging your mouse with your text all you want to do is press shift on your keyboard and then it should just be able to snap into place and then uh, you can move it uh, only with the horizontal option so then you can move it just like so obviously you can customize all the text and stuff but i'm going to be keeping it this way actually i'm just going to make it a teeny bit more bigger that looks good and then all you want to do now is select your text and hit s on the keyboard and you want to move your time indicator where you're saying this text so let's say i'm saying welcome back to another tutorial and let's say one second right exactly one second you want to go to that keyframe and you want to hit s on your keyboard uh, while pressing this uh, text layer and you want to press this keyframe and then make sure this is on 100 and then all you want to do is hit page up on your keyboard and it should go back one keyframe before and you want to make it to 90. Now it should be looking something like this. Now it still looks pretty weird because the like the text is like showing in the left side of the screen. I feel like it's just really weird, you know? So all you want to do is zoom into this keyframe by doing the exact same thing you did last time but into the keyframe. So all you want to do is press Alt on your keyboard and then scroll up in here. And it should scroll up, uh, like it should zoom into the keyframe. And then all you want to do is move your time indicator to the very first keyframe. Select your text layer and hit Ctrl Shift D on your keyboard. Then all you want to do is select the bottom text layer and hit delete. And then you just want to delete that other layer. Now that you have this, let's preview our text. That's pretty much it. So the animation is done, but the text style is pretty much not done yet. So if you go ahead and click this button, it says toggle transparency grid. If you click this, you can see that it's completely white and you literally cannot see the text. So all you want to do is again, select your text layer and go ahead and go to this option, fill over stroke. All you want to do is increase this uh, stroke. I'd say around maybe 20. Oh, no, 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 that's way too big. Sorry. Uh, let's go 15. And then go ahead and select this and then select all fills over all strokes. And then it should be looking something like this. Obviously, you can change the settings. Uh, you can feel free to change all the settings you want, but I'll be keeping this setting. And this subtitle isn't just used for Minecraft YouTubers. So obviously you can use it in other videos like gaming, 
cooking even i don't know it's up to you so thank you so much for watching this tutorial it was a really really simple and short one but i really hope you guys learned something new also let me quickly add one thing all right uh you want to select the text go to effects and presets and add a drop shadow so you just want to drop shadow search that drag it onto the text and then i'll give you guys my recommended settings all right so all you want to do is play around with the distance softness and opacity so all you want to do is just make the distance just a tiny bit farther make the direction around 180 and all you want to do is increase the softness now actually i'm gonna move back the distance just a teeny bit more just like that and you can decrease the opacity and it should be looking something like that now this is really up to you again um obviously you can change the settings feel free to but that's it for today's tutorial thank you so much for watching um that was a final little tip for you guys uh, i really appreciate you guys thank you so much for 2400 subscribers we're really close to 2.5k i think we're like three away so yeah thank you so much make sure to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one bye